Welcome back to John of All Trades. I have here the Verpal Mongoose CM2. This is the newest version that they have out. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get it set up. Uh, this is, I'm new to Verpal, and coming from Thrustmaster, it is a huge learning curve. Thrustmaster, you download software, uh, it tells you plug in device, you plug it in, it does all the firmware updates and everything for you. Not the case with the Verpal here. Um, once I did the firmware, firmware update, I jumped into the plane without calibrating and everything was messed up. So I'm gonna go through that setup process with you guys today. Super simple now that I've done it and I just wanna show you guys how to do it. So if you're having problems, this helps you out. So we're gonna start by downloading the software. We're gonna to go to Verpal. There we go. Uh, you got Verpal Controls EU. You can also get to it from www.verpal.com. We'll just go there. We're gonna to go to Downloads. Um, we're gonna do the latest release. I've heard from other people and watching videos that sometimes latest release can be a little buggy so they go these are all older releases if you needed to try those but we're gonna go latest release VPC software save I will close here we're gonna open up our downloads right click extract all make sure that the checkboxes checked when you're extracting extract and we'll right click always run any new software you're setting up as administrator um, at least I do so that I know I don't have any problems it, it gets everything downloaded properly yes I'll go ahead and close these guys out of the way next so here we have create desktop shortcut for the shift tool. The shift tool, I believe, has something to do with the mode selector here. So I am going to say yes. I have not played with this enough to get this set up, everything set up completely. So this is just a get you started video. And definitely click pro mode on. This gives you um, advanced features. So you want that turned on. I'll show you once we get in what the difference is. We're going to click next and install. Now when you get done, you'll see these three boxes here. We have the setup, the tester, and the shift tool. So I am going to choose not to run it. Finish. I'm going to run it from over here. Now nothing is plugged in yet. I'm just running the software for the first time. Pull it up here. Okay, now you can see here, this is gonna pull up everything you have plugged in. So we've got my headset, you've got my lighting node for my lighting in my case, you've got keyboard, everything. So clicking on this stuff, it's not gonna let you, shouldn't let you do anything with it. Um, you can see there's no, no axes here. Just real quick, the difference here, if you go light mode, you can see it takes out your button and LED. So that's why you want to download the advanced. As far as I'm aware, and I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if you don't do the advanced mode, you don't get the button and LED selection. You're just stuck with what you're stuck with. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and close this. I'm going to get my cable out here. Go ahead and get this guy plugged in. See USB. Pull that off. There's a little notch here and a notch. I don't know if the camera will focus on that. Oh, there we go. I don't think it's going to focus. There's a little notch on the bottom also. You just want to line those up. Push down and it'll lock into place. It's locked in. And then once we plug it in, the lights are going to light up green. They're going to flash green. For me, I don't know what color for you guys. Okay, oh, well, yellow. I guess yellow, not green. Colorblind. Okay, so now we're going to come over here. We're going to go to setup. 
Let that load. All right. So now you can see here is our throttle right here. And just because it says ready does not mean you are just ready to go. So first thing you're going to want to do, click on it, highlight it. We're going to go to firmware, start auto firmware update, OK. And this will take just uh, about a minute to do. Even though it says ready, be patient, it's not really ready yet. Okay, so now we should be ready to go. First thing we have to do is set a profile up. As you can see, everything disappeared. Profile disappeared. This is a, anytime you do a firmware update, it is a fresh install. So make sure that you, uh, you save your configuration that you have so that you're not stuck reconfiguring it. <laughs> We're gonna go profile. You can see we have flight base. It's got all the mongoose here. We have we have the mongoose T50 CM2. So we're going to click on that. Now the grip. Now you have the five way and then with five way modifier and no modifier. Um, as far as I'm aware, and I, I haven't played enough with it, so once again, correct me if I'm wrong. The five way modifier modifies your B1 through B6 buttons. So inevitably it gives you, instead of six buttons, it basically gives you up to 30, 25, 30, one or the other. Anyway, uh, if you use other software or you can use this modifier, these are like buttons. So you can use this modifier. Uh, for me, I play a lot of DCS. I just set it up as a modifier within DCS or VJoy. You can do it as a mode shift. Um, works really well. There's a video or two out there on how to do that, and I will be making one in the future. So for right now, we're gonna go ahead and do no mode modifier and left side. Now anybody playing um, some games, it seems like window, Windows only has so many virtual buttons that it goes into. So by clicking this, it splits it by 32 buttons, gives you an extra 32 buttons. So, um, Elite Dangerous, I know, is a big one where you just run out of button. You can't use all the buttons that are on the joystick because Windows doesn't recognize all of them. So if you guys are into Elite Dangerous or having problems, you're going to want to click Split uh, Virtual Device by 32 Buttons, and this gives you, this helps out with uh, more buttons on Windows. So we're going to leave that unchecked. We're going to Create Profile. And you can even see up there, I don't know if you saw that, I didn't get to it in time. It said that there was no profile selected. So now, instead of it saying no profile, it says BPC throttle. So now we have the correct profile set up. I'm just gonna go right here. You can import and export your files. We're just gonna go save one more time just to make sure everything was written correctly to the to the um, flight stick here. You can see our buttons are lit up yellow now. Give it a second. It's still reading. Okay. Now, go LED. You can see all the colors are lit up here. You can turn them off. See them turn off over here once I click. Off, off. on you can see here this is all your buttons and everything we're not going to mess with that we're going to go to axis now we're right here is where we messed where i was really off so if you if you see here your this is your left right throttle we'll go ahead and unhook them we need them unlatched anyway so you can see it goes up to 39 percent is all and down to 18. over here this one goes to 60 and down to 38 so the axes are way off. Um, you have to actually calibrate this, um, as you should with all your joysticks. But I know Thrustmaster kind of did an auto calibration, and we had no problems. So real simple. We're going to go down here, calibrate axes. 
You can see everything jumping around going crazy. That's normal. You're just going to take it go all the way up slow. All the way back. All the way up. All the way back. We're going to do that with each one here. Flaps lever next. Got that little joy thing on the side. We're going to go left and right. Left and right. And you see the other one moving with it. That's okay. And our last one is our slider here. Anyone that has the, this has a middle detent on it. So we'll just put it in the middle. Now you can see here, I know that these are a little off. Looks like your throttle's gonna be backwards. One's gonna go one way, one's gonna go the other. You can see our little joystick things off. That's fine. We're gonna go save calibration to profile. That's got a right. second when you think it's done it's not done there we go so now you can see on our values up here we have uh, zero 100 percent so you're just going to want to double check them all zero 100 percent we're good there all right here's your flaps 100 percent back down to zero and then you can see here that's why uh I know it showed it was off. There is a way to invert it, um, but it's it's showing properly as far as your values. And then you got your, here's your joy here, left, right, 100, zero, down, 100, up, zero. So you can let off back to 50. And then your slider Z down there on the bottom. So I'm just gonna go save. BPC device one more time here. While it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and pull up CS. Double check, make sure it's going to work okay. Sorry about my slow computer. At this point, you could close this program down. You do not need this running to set any of your stuff up. Once you uh, once you set it up, it's set up. So that's what we was talking about as far as it saves everything to the actual throttle or to your um, your uh, flight stick. It saves it to the actual device, so it makes it nice. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and close that. So now, let's pull in some, uh, let's do a setting here. Let's go mission. We'll go with the A10C. We have a, that's fine. Weapons training's fine. Load in real quick here. Once again, sorry about the wait. Has to think about it. it. Says it's not responding, but obviously it's wrong. So we'll go start. Now I don't have my uh, track IR hooked up, so you'll have to give me a second to move stuff around. Okay, fly. Go, I believe it's Alt C. There we go. So let's look at our throttles down here. You can see if you throttle up, hey, it actually works good here. So when I first did this, it did not work properly. So I did have to invert them on here. It showed that basically it just took off on me. <laughs> so not a big deal to invert your, you just go to adjust controls. You can see axis commands. 
So we can go, here's your throttle, your left and right throttle. Thing works there. So if we want to do zoom view, I will go zoom view. I don't want the whole thing. Um, add, oh, that's wheel brake. So add, I want this slider here is my zoom view. So I'm going to slide it up and down. Okay, so now we got that. So okay, so let's see. So you can see there now it works. So now that's how you set it up. Uh, it's it's a little more complicated than Thrustmaster and Logitech, but in the end, once you go through all the stuff and get it set up properly, it is really not too bad. So thank you for watching this video. Leave your comments below. Uh, subscribe and like for more videos like this. And hope you all have a great day.